my background is um, I'm a medical doctor. I started as an orthopedic doctor and I help pioneering a treatment where you take the blood from the patient and process it in a certain way to create anti-inflammatory proteins and re-inject those into the joints to slow down the aging process and stop the ongoing process of osteoarthritis. And um, this knowledge I translated into the skin in 2002 and I created something you all know today as PRP or vampire facial or blood facial. That's my invention and I um, created this and um, I started injecting Botox fillers and I always thought, you know, it's um, since I'm coming from the science background that I wanted to do something on a cellular level rather than just, um, you know, fill in lines and wait until it's gone. So this whole technique really made a big difference in the results and the immediate results of filler, but also in the long lasting um, results. So I mixed it with the hyaluronic acid and it was really um, amazing what it would do. So um, at the time, this was in 2002, when you inject the nasolabial fold, it would last four, three, four years. It was crazy. So um, that's what I um, invented. And then I also needed a cream because I couldn't find any moisturizer on the market, which would help my skin and give me enough hydration. So I had um, always like little blackheads and had to go and see a facialist to clean my skin out. And it was so tiring and I spent so much money on skincare and nothing worked. And I thought, okay, you know, I'm already in this like aesthetic field. So let's just work on a really good cream. So I created a cream with my pharmacist, which is extremely hydrating. It's like whipped cream is amazing actually. And I added the proteins from the blood and this healed my skin ever since. So I never had problems with dehydration or blackheads anymore. And I hardly ever need to see a facialist, but you know, what I actually did is I, I, I got my skin's balance back, you know, because dehydration um, disrupts your skin barrier, but also creates like, you know, all kinds of um, problems on your skin due to the disbalance. And um, so what I, what I really took away from it is that um, in order to balance your skin and give your balance this healthy glow, your skin needs to be healthy. And if we think about skin, it's um, the surface of our body and it's a fortress of protection. It's a protection um, situation and it has so many tasks, you know, and it, you can see it as a beauty de device. We really need to see it as, um, you know, as the protection surface that cannot let anything in what we don't want and can nothing out, let nothing out what we don't want. So this um, outer layer called skin barrier and the skin barrier is the um, most outer layer also of the skin and it consists out of dead skin cells, um, a hydrolipid film and the microbiome. And the microbiome is, um, is basically parasites, fungus, bacteria. It's like, the, you know, you know it all from the gut. So you take probiotics and if you think about it, we have like two kilogram of microbiome in our entire body. It's quite a lot. And some of it, it's on the skin. So that's why um, to balance our skin, it's really important to keep this microbiome intact and let's not disturb it. And for example, um, fragrances in, 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 in skincare can already disturb this microbiome. Or if we put antibiotics on our skin or cortisone, it disturbs this microbiome. It's the same like probiotics for our gut. We always want to make sure that our bacteria in our gut are intact um, because it really represents also healthy functions of our body, of our immune system, our digestive system. It's the same with the skin, you know, and it can even be disrupted if you just take a too hot shower. Um, so um, strengthening our skin barrier and respecting our skin barrier is really one of the big um, topics in, in what I want to, um, you know, educate you on, that we don't see the skin as just something we can throw acid peels on and lasers and retinol, retinol, glycolic, and name all those aggressive ingredients. Um, they just disrupt our skin and they cause inflammation. And there we are, inflammation. Inflammation is my entire background, basically. Um, I started as an anti-inflammatory doctor. And when I went into uh, working in skin, I brought the science from the orthopedics. And it's, it's interesting to see the skin also from the aspect of inflammation because inflammation is a 
ongoing immune response. It's not just inflammation if it's red and swollen. And, um, it's also infl there's also inflammation which is silent. We don't see, we don't feel, but this inflammation process is going on in our body, in our skin. And this inflammation can destruct our tissues, can um, cause chronic um, diseases. So inflammation is what we got to get under control. And where does inflammation come from? It comes from stress, from diet, from no sleep, from skincare products, from pollution from the sun, from the HEV light, from the phones. It comes from so many uh, directions and uh, we got to get it under control. So what we can do in our daily life is trying to get a good night's sleep. We can have an anti-inflammatory diet, which is basically green leaf vegetables, cherries, oranges, um, almond, mackerel, salmon, olives, berries, oranges, to, um, tomatoes, cherries, their blueberries, turmeric, ginger, there is a bunch of really amazing ingredients we can incorporate in our diet and um, we can try to reduce stress. We can uh, watch out for skincare ingredients in our skincare products. We can, um, you know, try to stay out of the sun pollution and our HEV light. And what I did, because we cannot always stay out of everything, you know, sometimes we are in the sun, sometimes we are in pollution, sometimes we are in front of our screens. I try to create products which help our skin to defend and protect um, itself. And that's why we have anti-pollution drops. The anti-pollution drops protect you from the pollution, protect you from the HEV light. We have uh, the sun drops, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum um, sunscreen. Um, we have like um, hydration tools to strengthen our skin barrier function. We have um, a balancing toner which evens out your pH of your skin when our skin um, gets touched with with, with tap water, sometimes our pH rises. And our skin's pH is actually quite acidic. It's um, a little bit under five, and that's why we need to also pay attention to what we put on our skin. Um, if you use a cleanser or, or a soap, the soap has a pH of nine or 10, which is really bad for your skin. And there, the microbiome gets damaged again. You know, if our pH is not right, the microbiome um, um, gets disrupted. And so there are a bunch of things we really need to put in equation to uh, maintain a good skin health. And when we think about anti-aging, skin barrier, you know, it's like a house, the, 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 the fun fundament of a house. How do you say it? Where is Mauer? The wall. the wall of the house. It's like very tight and everything is perfectly in place and balanced. You know, when our skin ages, this wall gets crumbly and old and falls apart. And it's the same with our skin barrier, you know, it can fall apart. And all of a sudden things can leave the skin, like hydration, which we don't want. We want hydration in our skin. And other things can come into our skin, like allergens and, um, you know, more pollution. It can cause inflammation. So we need to, instead of weaken our skin barrier function, strengthen skin barrier function and keep our skin barrier function strong even over time of aging. So we keep it young and by keeping it young, we also keep our skin away from wrinkles and, um, you know, dehydration, etc. cetera. And, um, you know, some treatments, anti-aging treatments out there, they target really disrupting skin barrier function because they say, oh, okay, let's take all, let's take away all our healthy skin, skin cells and um, you know our living cells take, put, take it away because we want to get rid of pigmentation and wrinkles and all this kind of stuff. But what it's been done here is to um, really accelerate the cell turnover, which not only produces immature cells, which have no defense system whatsoever, but also um, you know, go too fast through all the cell divisions. And you know, the most proven anti-aging theory lies in the cell division. So if you think about, our cell division is between 40 and 60. Um, a turtle has up to 110 cell divisions. The turtle gets to live over 200 years. We, you know. Um, so that's the most proven anti-aging theory. And there is an ingredient um, I actually, I'm very excited about. It's very new cutting edge. It's called telomerase activator. Some of you might have heard about it. Telomerase is an enzyme which keeps our cells from dying by just keeping telomeres, the ends of the chromosomes long enough and keeps them from shortening, which happens normally with each cell division. And when the telomeres are too short, the cell dies or mutates. 
I found a few ingredients which our telomere is activating and then all my skincare products and my supplements. So I'm very obsessed about um, this technology. A Harvard study actually said um, that telomerase is the only ingredient which not only stops the aging process, but also reverses it. So there you go. I think we all want the age reverse. <laughs> um, yeah, anti-aging is also keeping your cells functioning, keeping your cells hydrated, bringing enough nutrition to the cells, into the cells and hydration is not the same like rich richness. So oiliness is not the same like hydration. So if you think you have dry skin and you put a face oil on your skin, doesn't give you any hydration. It's not the same. And a face oil doesn't do anything for you if you don't have hydrated skin. Uh, skin. So I'm actually not a real um, fan of face oils in the first place and super rich screws because, um, you know, they can shut down your own sebum production, they can clog your pores, they can, um, especially with um, more combination or oily skin can cause breakouts. And depending on what oils they're being used, um, they don't even um, get to um, diffuse into your skin because dehydrated skin and, and a face oil on top does have a disconnection. So the face oils can't even enter the skin. And sometimes if you get a massage with a nice oil and you have super dry skin, you think, oh, this oil will now really uh, make my legs beautiful and smooth. And then you find out that it dries out your skin even more. It's the same effect. It's like a, it's a kind of like an oily film on top of the skin and doesn't really do the job. So stay away a little bit from all those like um, face oils and do hydration. And hydration, for example, I make all my products hydrating. You start with the cleanser, it's hydrating. The facial scrub is hydrating. Our hyaluronic serum is the most hydrating thing. So um, if you think about a hyaluronic serum, it's like such a power tool. Serums are the power tools of our skincare routine. And if you think of um, wanting to do the best for your skin, an innovative skincare routine must have a hyaluronic serum. And a hyaluronic serum, I call the white t-shirt of our skincare routine because it's a must have. Because the um, hyaluronic acid molecules um, I present in different sizes. So they shoot down into um, deeper skin layers, but also stay superficial. So you get like a full on hydration throughout um, your skin layers. And that's important because our skin cells walk up the skin layers and then they die and become keratinocytes, which are dead skin cells and then they flake off. And this process of this um, walk up um, needs hydration in order for the cells to take on active ingredients and order to perform and in order to go through all their cell divisions. So anti-aging as I see it is keeping your skin barrier function strong, doing telomerase activation, um, giving your cells nutrition, keeping inflammation away. So you do all these anti-aging tasks and you have one big advantage here. You don't hurt your skin, you don't hurt, you don't cause inflammation. You can use the products when you're pregnant, the products are weak and they're natural, they're non-toxic, they're clean, and you still do anti-aging. Also, we use a bunch of um, ingredient science, um, which is catered to different problematics. So we not only have the hyaluronic serum, we also have a night serum, we have a super anti-aging serum. We have a brightening serum, a clarifying serum, a calming serum. So whatever you want to target, I found the best ingredient, um, ingredients for you to really hit the target. And if you, for example, have rosacea, redness, irritation in your skin, sensitivity, or you just did an acid peel or retinol and you have these red cheeks, take all this stuff away and use the calming serum. Do a really mild skincare routine with the cleanser, once a week, you use the enzyme cleanser for exfoliation, and then you use your hyaluronic serum, your calming serum, or your face cream, or your face cream light. So you really do healing with your skin and get your skin back in shape. And the same with acne-prone skin. And right now, lots of people suffer of adult acne, especially when we wear the facial masks. Um, it's something called maskne. And, um, you know, this irritation on your skin, this um, friction and um, really bad... Um, you know, friction on your skin can cause irritation, breakouts and sensitivities. And it's really important that you keep your skin hydrated, keep you re-moisturizing your skin, keeping this um, area smooth and hydrated. And when you break out, um, we created a whole clarifying line um, where you can switch your products to the clarifying routine. And again, if we break out, we can 
cannot dry out our skin. Drying out is never an option. We always need hydration because it's scientifically proven that it strengthens our skin barrier function. Never weaken your skin barrier. So hydration is the key. But what we don't want, we want an overproduction of sebum and we don't want a rich product on our, our, our skin. So the clarifying cream does hydration, anti-aging and gets sebum production under control and heals up your spots, okay? So it's really important to pick the right products for whatever we want to achieve. Um, a few really amazing anti-aging products, for example, are um, our super anti-aging serum, which I use at night, um, together with the night serum and then my face cream. That's my night routine. And my morning routine is the hyaluronic serum, the anti-pollution drops to block out the Zoom call radiation and my face cream. And then if I'm in the sun, the sun drops. So I really have like a very, um, you know, not too complicated skincare routine. I do my face mask almost every day. I'm obsessed with my face mask. It's the most hydrating, um, glow producing tool ever. You just put it on, leave it on for like 20 minutes and then you rub it off. You peel it off like a little, it comes off like in little rolls. And um, then you put your serum on top on your face cream. That's the perfect summer, summer, um, glow you can achieve. I love that. Yeah, what else? Hydrating face mist for in between. Shall you do you have the hydrating face mist? So you spritz your hydrating face mist um, also in between Zoom calls. Also, if you're on Zoom calls a lot and work from home on a computer, um, use your anti-pollution drops even throughout the day. Then another amazing product is our body cream. I worked on this body cream for four years. It's the most amazing body cream. It's just like non-sticky. You can put on your clothes right after. And that's important, you know, if you cream your body and then you have to wait for an hour until you can put your blouse on. And I wanted something where you can do it. Still so get this enormous hydration. And um, I love our body cream. Our lip balm is amazing. No bad ingredients. None of my, um, my products have fragrances. I just um, do something for the entire family, young, old, uh, men, women, every sk skin tone um, from Caucasian skin to darker skin tones, um, Asian skin. I have something for everyone because I always thought, you know, I'm a medical doctor and people come to me for advice. And I was always wanted to present something with, I always wanted to present a solution. If somebody asked me a question, I wanted to have an answer and a solution. So that's why we have so many products. This doesn't mean you have to use all the products. It's just nice to have just in case um, you need it. And um, also we do like um, FaceTime consultations with our esthetician. So whenever you need advice personally and you wanna have like a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime consultation, it's also always possible. I really like to give um, the chance for everyone to have good skin and I know how. So everybody on this call, get the skin food for sure. Skin food is amazing. And um, yeah, um, same with all the others. We write down your routine and um, our team took notes uh, so we can send you your dedicated doctor's note okay. um, and get you started and then Guys, also always not just use your, um, treat your uh, face, also the neck, decollete and your hands, okay? okay. Face, neck, decollete, hands. And from your body, I, I tell you one more trick, um, use the dry brush. Dry brushing is amazing for cellulite and firmness of also our arms and legs, you know? Um, when we age, this is not the nicest part in our legs. So do dry brushing twice a week before taking a shower and then use our anti-aging body cream. It's insane. 